Hi, this is Mrs. T, Chem Talk Teacher Tech. My name is Beth Chiminello, and my channel generally has mostly chemistry videos, but after remote learning, I decided to start putting together some quick videos about some of the teacher tips, uh, t tips that I learned for teaching during remote learning during a pandemic. Um, my name is Beth Chiminello. I'd really appreciate it if you would like and subscribe. That would help me, and I'll also be making more teacher tech videos uh, between now and when it's time to um, go back to school, whether it's remotely or in person. I feel like some of these tech tools could also help us regardless of whether we're in school or not. So this particular um, video, what I did was I started off by using the Screencastify extension. So the first place that I had to go was this was to get that extension. And if you go to screencastify.com, um, you can have, there's a place where you can make an account and it gives you your place to say whether you're using your microphone, your webcam, whether you're just using the desktop. So it would be your entire desktop, everything that you see only the webcam or just a browser tab. It's convenient to use just a browser tab when you're going to be making a video within one app. But if you're going to be switching from different tabs, like I just did, doing that just the browser tab would not work. So once you choose your desktop, it gives you a place to click on and getting started. And then also you'll notice that in my toolbar here, I have this Screencastify button that I can press and it says my desktop is being recorded. I can hit pause, I can delete it, I can press stop whenever I'm finished. So that just stays there. So if I'm going to use Screencastify with my Wacom tablet, what I did was I made myself a page in my Bitmoji classroom with a nice big whiteboard so that I can write on it for these purposes. However, if you don't have that, you could just do this in your um, PowerPoint or, or something like that. So when I'm looking at this with my uh, Screencastify, there we go, my Screencastify tools seem as though they go away when um, I hit present. So I'm wondering if I hit my pen before I hit present. No, because then I can't present. So I have to do my mouse, but then my Screencastify tools go away. So using Screencastify with this Wacom tablet on a Google Slides presentation, what you would need to do is do a bigger zoom. If we can do the view and we can zoom in further. So now here I am zoomed in to 200%, but now what that does is it makes my Bitmoji go away. So it's looking like Screencastify with Google Slides isn't really going to work so well. However, when you're here, if you do want to draw on whatever page you have here, you can, you can certainly do that. So if you wanted to open up a PDF or you wanted to open up any other item, you could certainly do that. So that was just it with, with Google Slides. So let me just open up a... Okay, so what I did, I went to go and I just went to find to see if I could open up a new presentation. And of course I threw my Bitmoji in there. Um, but if I do it in PowerPoint and Screencastify, I can use the pen that is embedded in PowerPoint tools. So if I wanted to use Screencastify and my Wacom tablet, I really do think that PowerPoint is the way to go because PowerPoint does have these, these pen tools that of course now have disappeared. Um, there we go, that are here. So if I want to, I can do pen, I can do arrow. So if I wanna go back to that, but if I wanna use the pen, 
I can change the pen color. And this is embedded directly in the presenting of PowerPoint. Now when I'm going over here and it's not coming up, I can press escape. And when I press escape, I get my pen available again and my options to change the color of the pen or to go back to the arrow. So when using Screencastify and the Wacom tablet, it seems as though the best thing to use is the PowerPoint presentation. So it looks like it looks like Google Slides is not as well equipped when you're in presentation mode because the pen tools do disappear. So hopefully that gave you a little bit of um, information about using a Wacom tablet and Screencastify. It looks like PowerPoint is the way to go for that. So please like and subscribe and good luck. Thank you.